going on everybody it's a mecca this is driven hard and uh, i am out with a special guest today it says debut on the channel it's <laughs> my baby brother emmanuel and what he has uh, right here <laughs> is his ram he just picked this up for you want to tell us a bit about the truck like what modifications are on it uh yeah so there, there's a, a four inch lift on it um bought it when in june uh no july july 1st Laramie. You got some uh, fuel poop, wheels. Poop cab, yeah. You got uh, the black black line. Tire. My terrain tires. Those are nice. My yeah, terrain tires, yeah. Um, fully loaded. Um, you know, yeah. <laughs> nice ram uh, chrome tailgate. Uh, Hashtag not a real car guy, but that's okay. He's no, learning. No. He called me up and he's like, can we go off roading? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you don't got to ask me twice. So we are here in. Sylvester Road, Mission BC, and uh, this is actually part of the trail where I did the video with the Jeep. So we're gonna go down. And now, have you ever gone off roading before? No. You never no, took no. out Dad's Jeep? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, might have gone with the Lexus once. Okay. Uh, so no. Real off uh, not real off roading. I appreciate you admitting that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like walk him through the different. Um, four-wheel drive settings in his truck and um yeah just kind of like an intro to off-roading here's what to use here's things to look out for and you guys know i'm not a pro by any means but um yeah so let's kind of walk through the basics what was i just doing to my tires do you want to explain what i've explained to you what is the purpose of airing down airing down well better traction first off you don't want to puncture your tire if you go over any sharp rocks so, right yeah, and, and for example me with my 21 inch rims the main reason i chose to air down is to make the tire softer to conform around rocks it's like if you have a hard balloon and you put a hard balloon onto a rock it'll pop it but if you take air out of that balloon um, it'll conform around the balloon. And so that's exactly what I was doing. Obviously we should be using something like this. That would be a lot better. We're not even gonna air you down, bro, because you'll be okay. <laughs> you will be okay. Um, you wanna explain why somebody would air down? If more traction to more increase traction the footprint of the overall tire. And uh, hopefully we don't, uh, no, forest fires don't happen over here. So we should be good. <laughs> no smoke. Uh, yeah, no smoke, no we're smoke smoke good. Okay. Um, the most important thing that I'm always worried about, yeah, is getting a side puncture. There's a gladiator, getting a, si uh, a side puncture, right? So your tire, rocks are good here, rocks are bad here. Right. So whenever you're going, right, you want to, if you see a rock, like you, you're always looking ahead, right? right? So if you're looking ahead and you have a rock coming up here, right, you either want to have your tire go on top of that rock or avoid the rock altogether. Worst case scenario is for you to drive it here and it'll puncture your sidewall um, because that's one, it's not repairable, and two, um, no, it's just one, it's not repairable. And you're unless you have a spare. But yeah, so let's head down and then we'll go up that climb and then head up the road a bit more. You asked what's what's the breakover? Good yeah, point. when you say breakover, what, so there's what does that mean? there's three three angles to know. So your departure angle is basically your rear. So what slope can you go down without ripping off your rear end? Okay. The breakover is yeah the middle. So that's what I was asking you as I was cresting the top. Because yeah. if you get hung up on that, all of a sudden the weight is no longer on the wheels, <laughs> it's on the body, mm -hmm. and you usually got to be pulled out. <laughs> and then the approach is the opposite of this. It's just up front okay right so but uh all right uh i think you should be okay to go through that as well like it looks wide enough so okay yeah. i have no idea if it's actually gonna be wide enough all right
Hey, right, passenger a little. Passenger, yep. Straight, keep going. Keep the driver with tag. Okay. And keep going on that line. Okay, slowly. Okay, hold up. So, you're gonna have to come as close to, close to here as possible in order to navigate this turn. So, you're gonna keep coming in that straight line. Okay, keep coming, keep coming. Slow, slow, keep coming, keep coming. Now driver, just, okay, stop. So I'm just gonna watch your back end here. Okay, just go slow. Yet. Okay, yeah, you're gonna clear that rock, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay, and yeah, stop, turn, drive, turn passenger and back up. Keep turning passenger. Okay, back up. I pre, I sorry about the audio quality here. I didn't bring my actual camera, which has the mics. Okay, okay. Driver, keep driver, driver, driver. Okay. Passenger. Okay. Yep. Okay, driver. Okay, hold up. Uh, passenger. No, not, okay. Driver, driver. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, if I had the clearance, you'll have the clearance. So, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah? It's probably the most technical you've done before, huh? <laughs> yeah, driver, passenger, I like that. No. So when you go, so just don't go hard all the way unless it's like hard all the way. Because usually it might just be like, you got to turn it just a little bit. Okay. Right? Because remember, like I'll have a better indication of what your wheels are doing than you will. So what you might think is correct might be like way over and then, yeah. yeah. One thing that I, I, I can feel just driving and being a lifted truck is that you definitely don't have the visual clearance when stuff is right underneath. You know what, you know what helps with that? Cameras. <laughs> so we're gonna come up from here, around here, up here. What do you think the main obstacles are or areas of concern we wanna, well, obviously, I mean, you know, the, you got sharp, sharp rocks on the side. Sharp rocks are my only concern in life. <laughs> yeah, so really anything else, it's a pretty laid out track. It's yeah. Um, like looking at that stump right there, yeah. it could be a clearance issue. I don't think so. Because last time I did this, my suspension glitched and I was in regular height and I cleared, I think I cleared it. Okay. Um, but that could be an issue. So a trick that you can do to get over stuff if you're not going to clear it is drive on top of it to basically raise up raise it, okay. um, the thing so let's try that Yeah, you're, you're clear that rock? Yeah, you're gonna clear that rock easily. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, let's see that rock. Yeah, you're okay. You got enough. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Well a little a little on the back there. Yeah, you're good.
Yeah, you got this, cleared the stump, you're okay. All right, he made it, look at that. Course one. Now, are you in four low? Passenger, passenger, passenger. Are you in four low? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, just go slow. Yeah, go at an angle. Go at an yeah. angle. Go at an angle. Yeah, go on it. You're gonna you're gonna hit it right. Yeah, go at an angle. What part do you think? Where you are. I know. Cause your tires aren't your front tires aren't gonna. My tires are gonna hit the wood. And then what, what what's gonna happen? Is it recording? I hope so. Yeah, it is. So my tires are gonna hit the wood, right? Yeah. And then what's gonna happen here? My tires gonna hit here. It's gonna climb out this. It's gonna raise it a couple more inches. So it might look like I'm gonna hit it now, but. Once I, my tire comes on here, it'll raise it. So you just keep watching. <laughs> Watch me. Uh, How am I? Cl very, uh, close, close. You're gonna, uh, yeah, you're gonna, oh, okay, Watch keep going. Yeah, keep going. I mean, yeah, you'll probably make it. Just go very slow. Yeah, you're okay. You'll be, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Doing it for the back. Now for the back, you want me to get the back angle? Yeah. yeah. So the back, you're. Yeah. Say yeah. You go at the angle. You're. You're okay for clearance. And yeah. There you go. All right. Good job. See, those are the situations it's awesome having a spotter, competent spotter, um, because there's no tech in the truck, there's no cameras, nothing is going to tell you that when you get that close to obstacles. Uh, you have to have a spotter there, so he'll have no problem tackling like this. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Slow, S slow, S okay, you're good, now, slow, 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 don't forget you got an ass. So what we're going to do, we don't want to be on these tight little trails because I just don't want to destroy all the beautiful paintwork I've done on the range. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back up to the Forest Service Road head down a little bit more and try to find some more open areas with some more challenging obstacles. I'm gonna help him turn around the bus. I love playing 
over my first lob. Go, oh, oh, perfect, love it. Beautiful, made it look easy. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, is this guy gonna try this? I know it'd be better, but this would be a better video. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. These people think that we haven't been off-roading before. What are you gonna do, Amaka? Are you gonna take no, no, it's all the good. path of less it's all resistance, good. or are you gonna take the harder path? Nah, I gotta do this, man. I gotta do this. I can't just do that. We have to do this path. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Range Rover Langley, you're about to get some more recall warranties. Okay. Okay. Let's see it. Yeah. So you're, so there's a big sharp rock right there on this side on your driver's side. Like it's like, it's very, like yeah like i don't know if you want to yeah it's 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 sticking out there like you'll have to climb it obviously but you see you see what i mean like you're not gonna like th this part of the plastic will scrape it from the way that you're going but Cl clearance wise you're okay underneath it's just a lot of sand but nothing sharp that would da do any damage though and see the, the, yeah it's just this is the only real like that's a doozy that's a big one like over here it's not like that's really your only big obstacle right? no, i know what are you so okay when i get onto that hmm. Hmm. they'll have to go with a little bit more momentum yeah, yeah, definitely. It's hard to, hard to so, stand still, right? So I kind of back up a little bit. Okay, so here, here's the whole thing. Okay. He's, uh, he's using an extra rock for. Why you, why'd you put I that have rock to there? Go on this side. Yeah, and almost so like you're on a on an angle type but thing. I don't know if this will support me. What? It might just slide. Right? 
Yeah, but like when you come like this this way, and so your tire will be on, and then you kind of be on an angle coming this way, or if so, if I back up, if I go around the rock, you mean? Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, you go. If like you're, and then we'll if you go up. this way, and then. Are you gonna go back gonna go and back gain momentum? I angle it so I'm coming my I want my front about here, the front driver wheel. Okay? Yeah. So I'll position myself that way, stop and relook at it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, rock, rock crawl. <laughs> you're you're good. You're avoiding the rock right now. Okay, so you're totally past. That's the rock. So right now you're about to go in the big hole part. But if you just, yeah, keep going straight. I honestly don't see why. Yeah, okay. Now you're on there. Okay, so you've, yeah, you've, you passed it. No doubt. Okay, how am I on? On the passenger, you don't have a lot of traction. Camera. You don't have a lot of traction on the. I'm not worried about traction. Okay. I'm worried about body damage. Am I okay? Yeah, you're, yeah, you have clearance on both, on both sides. Yeah, you're okay. Just keep it straight. Keep the camera straight. Okay. Tell me where. Yeah. Straight. Bring it towards the uh, passenger side. There's two rocks on either side. There's one right here. Come straight towards me. Straight. Straighten your wheels. Yeah. Just come straight and you'll clear it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, you're good. You're good. You're okay. All right. Yeah. So that was in rock crawl because I know everyone's going to want to know rock crawl, low range, obviously. That was intense. Did I hit anything? No. No, you were good because every time you go over, you go over a branch, it's the exact same sound as cracking plastic. Damn. All right. Ah, uh, where did those girls go? I wanted them to see that. That was freaking intense. Yeah. Um, so, bro, you got to do that too now. <laughs> that was intense. Oh, guys, we can't see that. Uh, I don't know what it could look like here, but there's a massive, let me show you, massive dip here than this rock. Plus, we're coming after going through that, so the tires are already wet. And, uh, whew. but you know what? My brother, he talked me up it. He talked me up it, so that's tight. All right, so let's take a look at what his four wheel drive system is. What year is this Ram? 2016. 2016. All right, so you have, you have Speed automatic. two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel lock, four wheel low. So basically, four wheel auto is like your quote unquote all wheel drive system. So whenever it's raining, if it's snowing out and you want the truck to automatically be shifting power around, right? Four wheel lock will lock the center transfer case. So it's now distributing power 50, 50. For anybody who actually has better information on the Rams four wheel drive system, please comment below. I'm just going off of the basic knowledge that I have from how the Jeep systems work, which would be pretty similar to the same freaking Rams. Yeah. Four wheel low, what that's going to do is throw it into low range. And so with the, um, you basically get a lower set of gears. When we go into four low in a sec, you'll know what I'm talking about yeah. because you'll feel it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's your basic stuff for right now. 
so right now honestly with your tires you could do it in two-wheel drive up until the hill but whenever you're going to be doing something that you know you're going to be off-roading for example i would put it in four-wheel drive lock versus auto it's more for the pavement does that does that make sense okay so four-wheel lock when we're just going up and down this terrain yeah even this i would put it in four-wheel lock but four-wheel low when we're going up and down whenever you want to do like a steep climb or something like that or a descent because it'll slow you down right uh like in this type of like forest service road i'm a big believer switching to four-wheel drive before you need it versus after if you do this road in two-wheel drive especially like driving a pickup truck in the rain you're in two-wheel drive your back end is going to be a lot lighter it can spin out so might as well throw it in four-wheel drive yeah. for safety right um but yeah so i just put it in four-wheel lock right now and i don't know how your system shifts some of them you have to be in neutral yeah this one i have to be in, in neutral lock yeah brake desire and turn to desire all right so now it's in four wheel lock see with a little indicator shift right there and we're good so yeah just follow me down and then um yeah Nicely done, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't see anything. But no, that was good. Um, all you're doing is you're figuring out like how much throttle do you need for the computer to understand um, where to throw around power, right? Um, but no, that's cool. You can also like I don't know if you use manual gears no like like i'll put it in like when i did that i think i had it locked in first gear i didn't want it changing no matter how high the rights were going or anything like that so i'll lock it into a certain gear i want just to basically take as much control from the car as possible but nice nice work let's go find this lake all right guys I don't know how that video came together, but uh, Emmanuel, what did you think? Did you, did you enjoy your your first time? Yeah, it was fun, man. Kind of, yeah, it's definitely. different, right? Yeah, I know it's different. It's just gonna test the vehicle and see what uh, you know, capability. I know it's all like pretty easy stuff. Like, yeah. we gotta find some better locations, but I'll, like, you know, I don't know if we got it on camera, but like, there was a large section of the road that was blocked off, so we couldn't yeah. even get some of the other areas that I've got some footage bright. before, but. Whatever, and have more gas mixed. and have more gas. have more gas mr only half a tank so we actually <laughs> had to call it because you know yeah. he needs a gas station but anyways guys country. hope you enjoyed if you have any more tips for this guy um let him know in the comments until next time everybody let me know what you are driving hard and the emoji that we're going to be dropping today family emoji drop the family emoji in the comments until next time everyone Peace.